Hello YouTube, my name is Paul Lorenz and today I wanted to do another technical analysis on Takeda Ryu. Ryu is the 2019 and 2020 National Japanese Technical Skiing Champion. He previously was a competitive racer reaching 11 fist points in slalom, competing in 16 Europa Cup events and one slalom World Cup in 2014. Today we're having a look at his long turns which are being performed on dynamic course on Rizutsu's West Mountain. This course is a black groomed run. So let's start with the way he finishes the transition and initiates the new turn. This is where he is lengthening or extending his legs to move inside the arc. The crossover angle, or the relationship between the direction his centre of mass travels towards the centre of the new turn, and the direction his skis travel along the arc, creates a lengthening in his body. This is a result of his centre of mass and feet travelling in slightly different directions. This is not so much a pressing or extension of his outside leg to create pressure on the ski, it's a natural lengthening to maintain snow contact as he moves inside the new arc. Pressing too hard or too fast might cause a rising of his centre of mass. While this happens, the edge angle increases and it creates a longer position to deal with and balance against centripetal force. Once he has established the appropriate edge angle to receive the maximum centripetal force, he aligns his centre of mass through his outside leg to receive and resist this force which he uses to push him in a new direction across the hill. It's quite plausible that he uses the lowering of his outside hand as a cue to achieve this. Takeda is a very powerful skier, but I think he does a great job of blending all of these movements seamlessly, which I think gives a very elegant and fluid look. If you found this video useful, then please check out projectedproductions.com where you'll find hours of instructional videos that will improve your skiing. I hope to see you out on the slopes soon.